Hey guys, Mike here, and today I'm reviewing the Costello by Black Sheet Baggers. This is one of my favorite bags, so I'm excited to finally bring this review to you guys. Let's go ahead and we'll jump in and go over the looks here. This is the standard Costello design. I love it. I think it's really nice. I have no complaints whatsoever about that. Backside of the bag, they put the Black Sheet Baggers logo, which is one of the best logos in the game. I absolutely love that as well. I mean, for me, this is a 10 out of 10 design. It's just, I have no complaint. I think it's perfect, no issues whatsoever. As far as colors go, Black Sheep offers these in like I don't know, 10, 12 different colors. So it, it, if there's a certain color you're looking for, they've got it. If you don't like a color, they've got plenty of other options. So I think there's a color out there for everybody. It, it is ACL Pro Stamp, if that matters to you. Um, Material-wise, this slow side here, if you're familiar with Lucky Bags, this is the Pro Sniper slow side. Same slow side as a Pro Sniper. Black Sheep lists as a five speed, but in my opinion, it's a six speed. It plays like a six, maybe a slow six, but it's a six speed, it, which is great because it's, it's still slow enough that you can control it and play it on the board, but it's fast enough that you can collect with it without having to always use the fast side. Uh, the fast side itself is the Game Changer fast side. So we're looking at an eight speed there. And it's fast enough on this fast side to push through pretty much any mess on the board, but not so crazy fast that you're terrified to throw it. It's still controllable. So six speed slow side, eight speed fast side. The fill, the material in here is actually that flat disc fill that a lot of people love. Cornel Scenario, cat fans love it. That's what they use in their bags. Uh, the Deadhead from Buffalo Boards, they use that that flat disc fill. A lot of, a lot of companies use that because it gives it a great hand feel to it. When you have the, the, those beads in there, the, the resin beads, and you're holding the bag in your hand, because those beads are all odd shaped, they don't really fit together very well, you feel the bumps and lumps, kind of like little pebbles or rocks in the bag. And some people don't like that. With this disc fill, because it's flat, it, it kind of meshes together and just smooths out. So it feels like one fluid kind of fill. You don't really feel the individual discs in there, which makes it, gives it a nice, comfortable feel in the hand. Uh, the amount of fill, it's really, it's really a, a, a medium fill bag. It's not a super floppy fill uh, bag like you would get with a Surefire or a Typhoon. And it's not a crazy full bag like, say, a BG or a, a Blackwater. The, the Black Sheep Bag or Slower Bag, the Blackwaters, they're a fuller fill, filled bag. This is not. This is, this is kind of that medium fill. It's, it's almost a perfect fill, in my opinion, because if you're a Surefire thrower or a Typhoon thrower and you like that floppy bag, there's still enough flop here that it still feels comfortable and you can play it. But if you're a fuller fill type bag, you don't like the floppy bag, there's enough fill in here. You can get a good handhold and that bag is still not flopping around, right? So it, it, it's, it's, it really fits every type of player well that it makes it a great bag, especially for blind draws. As far as playability goes, this is a bag that plays on all conditions. It's one of those universal bags that fast boards, normal boards, slow boards, you can pull it out and play with. It's not a bag that you're playing that dirty style game with. You're not throwing a lot of blockers out there. You can throw a blocker and you'll see I throw some blockers out there. The problem is that this slow side is fast enough that either with a blocker out there, it doesn't offer a lot of resistance. So it's very easy just to go, just to push out of the way and, and collect it in there. That being said, it's still, it's, it's still, it still does a job as far as throwing blockers out there. It's awesome to collect. So if you do like to throw blockers, it goes out there and these bags are so easy to collect that you have no problem collecting with your next bag. Uh, they're also crazy hole friendly, so if you want, if, if your opponent is throwing a blocker out there and you don't want to collect their bag, you can sneak around. All I gotta do is just grab the hole. These are gonna spin around and suck right in. And if they don't fall in right away and they're hanging on the lip, they're pretty easy to collect. Uh, it, I mean, th these things are one of the hole friendly bags that I've thrown. They're really awesome around the hole. Get them up there near the hole, they're gonna grab the hole and they're gonna spin around and they're gonna fall in. Um, there, you can you can cut these bags. You can maneuver around, you know, fairly well. But honestly, it, it's a bag that if my opponents are in blockers, I'm either going to airmail over it or I'm just going to push through them. I might even try to get fancy, just just push through them, keep the board clean, put my bags in the hole, and make, wait for my opponent to make a mistake. That, that that's what this bag is for. Um, these bags really. For me, these bags excel on the slower, stickier boards. That's when I love to pull this bag out. Just earlier this week, I was in a, a blind draw, and my partner and I, for the first two games, we were throwing Typhoons. They were playing great, awesome. Towards the end of the second game, we noticed the boards were starting to get stickier and stickier. If you've ever thrown that Surefire material on a sticky board, you know that once that bag hits that board, it's not moving. And that's where we're getting towards the end of the second game is that, that Surefire slow side, which is hitting, stopping, and not moving. 
And so we had to start playing fast side only on Typhoons to finish that game out. And then after that game, we pulled these out and played the rest of the tournament with these and just, just rolled through the tournament. It was awesome. These bags play great in sticky conditions. Now, now this six speed becomes more like a four or five speed on the sticky conditions, but it's still playable. You can still throw it up there and block, push. You can still flip it over and clean up. Um, I, I, I love these bags and that, that's why this bag stays in my backpack for sticky conditions. But it's also a great bag for fast boards as well because you can still control this on fast boards or normal boards. It's just it's just an awesome all-around bag. In fact, I, doing these reviews, I've thrown a lot of bags. I hadn't thrown these in a while, and when I pulled them out of these reviews, I forgot how much I just love this bag. And it's a bag that I recommend to a lot of people when they're starting out. After they, you know, typically I, I like to recommend a slower bag to, to newer players. Give them a bag that's just going to hit the board and stay on the board. Get them used to throwing. But once you get used to putting four bags on the board and you're starting to get some in the hole. This to me is the next step up the Costello. It's it's an awesome bag. It plays in all conditions, all players. Uh, in fact, when I did the uh, bag giveaway most recently, and I had you guys list in the comments your go-to bag, this was the most mentioned bag of everything was the Costellos. I couldn't believe how many people were mentioning it. I, I didn't realize this bag was as popular as what it is, but for good reason. It's an awesome bag. I mean, it's 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 as close to a perfect bag as I think there is out there. It's one of my favorite bags. I, I love to throw it. I will always have a set of Costellos in my backpack wherever I go because it's, it's just it's just a great bag. Uh, so I, I definitely highly recommend this to you. Um, check out blacksheepbaggers.com to get a set. They're gonna run you like $79.99 for a set of four bags right now plus shipping, so, you know, another 10 bucks on top of that. Uh, but sometimes they'll run sales, you can get them for free shipping at times. So well under 100 bucks, you get yourself a set of bags, and these are gonna be some of your favorite bags, if not your favorite bags. So check them out if you haven't. If you have, let me know down below what you like about them, or if you don't like them, I'm curious to hear that as well. But all in all, I highly recommend these bags. I think this is a bag that most of you should go get a set. I think you're gonna love them as well. There, there's really nothing negative I can say about them. They're, they're, as close to perfect as a bag as you can get. So all in all, love the Costellos. Check them out, guys. Thanks for watching.